welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're either catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44, or my Facebook page, True Divine 44. Like, share, subscribe, and comments on either or both of those platforms is greatly appreciated and much love to everybody who's doing that thus far. I really, really appreciate that. It's helping me grow, helping me expand. So thank you very, very much. Um, it's the 15th of April today and I'm putting out another daily energy read. Again, I'll repeat for anybody who's new that it's a collective energy read. So I pick up on the collective energies and translate those via tarot, which means they're general. So some some of it might fit with you, some of it might not. It might all fit with you, it might all not. Take what helps you, take what guides, inspires and uplifts you and leave the rest behind for somebody else. So I'm putting this free content out as much as I can because I want to... Um, take part in in the dialogue I want to take part in supporting and guiding those who want to be supported and guided but particularly via tarot or energy work um, and to show what I can do so you can always book me in for a private reading which is much more specific to your needs with your questions for, for your answers and for your specific directions. So you can do that with any of the details above or below this video. If you're feeling anxious, um, if you're full of fear, if you just feel like you're not in control of your emotions, um, then the energy workout sessions with me would be really good for you. Also, where I help you recognize and feel and facilitate the energy that flows within you the whole time. But we do sometimes get blocks within ourselves that block that energy flow and it does help cause the physical um, aspects of you know when you shake or you're in fear that, that it, it filters out from the body and affects you physically also so if you're suffering in any way like that um, get in touch with me again with any of the details above or below this video and we can get you sorted where you can have that flow of energy running freely and have the ability to recognize and feel the energy that is around you the whole time for you to be able to uptake and use for your own empowerment your own direction and intent so for the 15th of april this is a collective energy read like i said before and um april 2020 so the first card is the ace of pentacles now i've said in many videos but just in case again there's anybody new that because of the the collective stage being so focused on one thing and one thing only um yes there's lots of distraction techniques but it's all surrounded around that one thing that one aspect so everybody's energy has been focused on that one thing so it's been a very strong pick up of the energy for me via the tarot so there's been lots of repetitive cards throughout the daily reads throughout the monthly reads that i do for each sign um and they've kept repeating it's been a real storybook the last few months of um this unfolding event now i talked yesterday about the divine feminine right up to this point for, for months now well longer than that but while i've been doing these videos for months um cropping up and showing herself to be and i say herself just for reference um the divine feminine is all around us it's in nature it's in us whether you're male or female you have a balance of a divine feminine and divine masculine within and it's up to you to recognize that and facilitate the aspects that is within both of those divinities to help you along your way again to be more empowered to be more discerning and have more intent be more focused um less triggered lots of brilliant aspects when you connect with the divine feminine divine masculine within and balance those out now the divine feminine has been going through and it's been showing in the cards for months um this birthing process birthing herself back into our consciousness both individually and collectively so the physical signs of that are that yes there's been a lot of chaos there's been a lot of confusion distraction but look outside the the divine feminine nurtures she holds space and time for creation to be created to be nurtured into life so look outside look at all of the stories about being able to see the himalayas clearly with dolphins in places that they weren't before or couldn't get to before because of pollution so she's been nurturing that without the womb that is mother earth has been nurturing the creation that that she holds 
and we've been doing the same if we've been connecting to our energies if we've been open and aware we'll have felt this niggle of this divine feminine um cropping up in our lives maybe very strong women coming into your life um that that are um predominantly feminine very feminine but they're very um forthright intuitive um psychic and that has a rub off effect you know so it has that ripple effect throughout all of the individuals to create this collective rebirth of the divine feminine within many 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 people so this pentacle to me represents some of that because it is nature it is the material now whereas in a lot of readings the ace of pentacles would say you know money um something creative that is going to bring you um financial sustainability and um, the material things that you can hold touch feel and use but because of what we've been forced to focus on i'm really proud actually because you could say that yes there's lots of people who just aren't doing any research just aren't being aware at all and not just following mainstream media of course you can but i look around me and i see people talking on the street and talking through my fence i mentioned this yesterday i think and um, there's this connectedness there and that is about the pentacles as well that that connectedness and the ace of pentacles represents new connections new friendships new partnerships blossoming and they're very different from the ones before because of um, this focus that we've had on this virus um, instead of many people that I'm talking about still focusing on that they've snapped into reality and said hold on a minute they can switch the switches off like that and we can't sustain ourselves we can't feed ourselves we, we haven't got our gardens planted there isn't enough allotments around um so there's been instead of this being the traditional um pentacle or oh, it's money it's um a project and yes it does mean that also very much so but in a very different way people are creating ideas that they're, they're, they're creating inventions things that that are um out of the ordinary that that would be usable right now even if things got a lot worse but electricity for instance going out as there's people i've spoken to alone um who are who are thinking up different ideas of how to do things differently because instead of focusing our intent on what was um designed for us to focus our intent on i.e this virus and all of the contradictory mainstream media rubbish that comes with it um instead of us doing that we have bent um we bent into the middle into balance and thought right we need to think around this situation we need to think how we will sustain our family how we will sustain ourselves how we will go forward with business um with with pleasure the things that we like to use and feel and touch um has that changed for you i know it's changed for many people that i speak to so the focus of what was maybe the old pentacle before before this thing came into the consciousness um it's what's been meant for harm for a lot of people and for the collective because of the inventions that are going to be made via these kind of pentacles um what was meant for harm can be made for good just by people being aware enough of their own energy and their own manifestation power in that whatever spell is thrown into the greater consciousness whatever say headlines are thrown into the mainstream media see that as a spell that's the start of the spell that's the ingredients it needs some fuel to 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 make it work to make the 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 end result happen it needs that fuel that fuel is your energy individually everybody should be responsible for their own energy because it does feed into what the 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 greater collective face living in or enjoy living in so there's lots of people who have just intuitively or very aware have done very intently have done the the fact 
that they've taken that fuel away. They've taken the, the energy source away from the beginning of that spell and they've put it into ideas, projects, new connections, people that they can trust, you know, the, the groups being made together. Even if that's just friends that all of a sudden look up and realise there's 10 of us and actually I know every single one of us has got each other's back. Every single one of us is growing different kinds of vegetables in the garden and we can share. So we're, we're utilising the space to the maximum. It's ideas like that that are coming into the greater consciousness right now because we've been taught a lesson. We've been taught a great, great lesson that complacency, lack of responsibility on an individual basis, which then feeds into the collective, not just to the adults, but to the children. The children are always left facing what the previous adults have put into the greater collective onto that stage. So it's very important on all layers, on all aspects of life that we get this right, that we are very um, focused and discerning about where we put our energy, where we put that fuel source. So for us to um, turn away from said spell, that spell has no other thing than to start to dissolve and disintegrate. And I think that's what we're seeing right now because there is so much more information coming out that really does just show the obvious that there are, there's real contradictions here. And I'm not saying there isn't a virus at all, not, not one bit. But I am saying that we can't even fight that adequately because we're not even being told exactly what we're fighting. And the other contradictions that I won't go into because this is a tower reading are obvious and so you can start to see that spell on this side dissolving and um, breaking up you know in the bits that are digestible to people that they can see the information within those bits that they can take it in it's not just one big misty mysterious spell dome with smoke in it that you can't really see the smoke's dissipating and the mirrors are breaking the smoke and mirrors aren't working because of you and you and you and you and you because we're all all of these people who are taking that energy source away from that spell see that as mainstream media and everything above them that is joining in because they're taking that fuel source away this ace of pentacles is so important because this is the Ace of Pentacles that represents the ideas, the projects, the new connections that people are making right now because they're putting their energy into it right now that would be sustainable through another event like this that we would maybe even be able to argue a little bit more about not shutting down things quite so easily because we can sustain them in a different way. So this is such an important Ace of Pentacles and it's kept coming up, as I say, throughout the different readings for, for a few months now, particularly in the daily readings where I am the reading for the collective. It's not just for one sign for one month. I'm reading for the collective and this Ace of Pentacles keeps coming up. So I'm super, super, super excited to see the different inventions, the different creations that are going to start coming forward very, very soon. Um, and, you know, I put the energy out there that the, these people who've had these ideas for so long but haven't been able to get those ideas out into the greater stage because of, you know, corporation type control that isn't allowing them to, to be, um, what's the word, uh, the opposite side. Oh, God. When not allowing them to get in really because they don't want to say that you can do things cheaper you can do things better you can do things in a way that is much more sustainable much more kinder to the environment etc 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 so it's super exciting so look out for these different things that are going to start coming up and being talked about and you know maybe being put on the market very very soon um, that would be very very interesting to see what comes up that we can actually use and enjoy um, going into our future with this Ace of Pentacles. So the second card is the King of Swords. 
Now this King of Swords is super discerning, he's super businesslike and he doesn't he doesn't suffer fools gladly. Um he's very kind, very compassionate of course, um very measured, but he's the intellectual thinker. He thinks through things, but he is full of action also. So he is the epitome of a king of being able to manifest through thought. Um, thoughts becoming things. So you think something and it comes into your life. You you think about creating something um, and, you, and you, you believe in yourself and you have that intent. In those thoughts, the, the things, the steps, the equipment that you need will become before you. So where this divine feminine that I spoke about at the start of the reading has been birthing into our consciousness, it was very important that the divine feminine started to come back into our consciousness first because the divine feminine has been super downtrodden, particularly through religion um, <clears throat> and politics. So, and now to, to a lot of people is unrecognizable. They don't realize that they have that, that source within self of that divine feminine. Now, why do I say it's important that that came first for this reset, this rebirth that we're going through? Because the divine feminine, just like I mentioned with the earth, it holds the space and time for creation. It holds the space and time for to nurture, to uphold, to uplift. So without the Divine Feminine being in place and exalted in the way it should be within us all and used by us all on a daily basis, this Divine Masculine type energy cannot be his optimum. He cannot be the best king he can be because he hasn't got that Divine Feminine support, that space and time to be who he, who he needs to be. So it's super, it's super important and super exciting that the Divine Feminine has been showing itself coming through the cards so much over the last few months. And then this King crops up today. Um, so he goes to where it was very, it was all Divine Feminine yesterday. He goes to the fact that now it's time to take action. Now it's time to put business plans in place. Now it's time to not sit on your backside and and think woe is me, think around obstacles, find a way to, to bring action into your creation, to start getting it done, to start achieving those goals, to start bringing those things that we desperately need on the market, um, to break up you know, the big corporations, um, for people to support those things and to be able to buy those things. Um, that's super important that this king comes in now and he's got that support underneath him. He's got that divine feminine support in, in Mother Earth. You can see that just the way nature is recovering and there the action is happening. You know, the, 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 the animals are thriving. Um, the pollution is lifting. So there's action there. So there's, this is happening within us all as well as if we accept it. So this is the time where you don't take no for an answer and I mean you don't take no for an answer to yourself you don't talk yourself out of not being able to attain whatever this pentacle represents to you you, you talk yourself into it this king manifests through his thoughts is the intellectual king so the third card being the same card as yesterday so both of these cards came out yesterday and this represents the Divine Feminine because this is the Queen of Pentacles. So again, it's perfect that just picture her as being the womb, holding space and time for action to create whatever has been being manifested within your mind, within your heart, what you've wanted to do, what you've wanted to achieve, what we need you to achieve, what we need you to do. All of us as individuals have something that we can put into the collective to make it a, a better place to live, to make it um, a more um, fair and, and thriving place to live. Not just an existence, but an experience. So take a hold of this with both hands and do whatever it is you need to do to put into action your creation, your idea, even if that's just new connections of, with friends, with partners, they're very important right now. So put into action, you know, making those connections, having those business meetings, reaching out to people. Because although it might be 
on the distraction stage, it's not the best time to do anything. I can tell you now that every body who is a millionaire or billionaire will say, now is the best time to buy business. Now is the best time to see what people need and jump in there and find that niche and get in there first. So we can always learn a bit from them too. So learn that and go for this pentacle, whatever it represents to you. I pulled another card out of the other deck just because I felt like I had to and it was the Ten of Pentacles. So this talks of, of material attainment, material alignment and within this reading for me it represents the fact that we're going to start thinking of people being people and that the, the earth, the, 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 the fruit, the vegetables, the animals that are available, should be available to everybody. There's this realignment of what pentacles mean, what, what, what material things mean. Not so many people wanting to keep so much profit away that they don't share it equally. And that I'm not talking about, you know, giving away everybody being on the same wage. No, no, no. People should be able to achieve and attain and earn to their fullest potential, their fullest potential. I'm just talking about things like land being freed up, um, a, a more fair way of people being able to choose where they live, maybe get back the land that they lost to governments, to corporations. That's, po that's a possibility. So just keep an eye on that and um, let me know if you see anything that I don't in the comments or you can always message me like I said at the top of the video. Um, and that's it for the 15th of April. I hope that was all right because it was a bit of a different reading. Um, take what you will of it. Leave the rest behind. I don't mind. Um, leave a comment if you like. And you can subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Facebook at True Divine 44 on both of the platforms. Uh, much love. Be balanced. Be whole always. Mwah.